Hello everyone. Today's video is not going to be a very exciting video per se, but it is an important one and it's one that I think could help a lot of folks out. We're going to be talking today about watercolor brushes. Now up until here recently, I haven't been much of a watercolor artist. I have been trying and forcing myself to get into the medium and give it a real good go. And I have been pretty successful here of late, and there's a reason why that is over past years. And I'm going to be making a few videos discussing that. And something that's very important, I think, is the brushes. So there are some brushes here that upped my game to the next level and made things a lot easier. And there are some other brushes here that were pretty pricey and did nothing for me. So I'm going to talk about some of these more popular ranges, and hopefully this will help somebody out. All right, I first wanted to talk about a few just one-off brushes I own that I do use for different things that might be helpful. This first one here is from Princeton. It's a velvet touch. I'm sure I got this one from one of my boxes, but it's a nice like flat chisel blender, they call it. These are pretty soft, but it's really good for lifting little details in watercolor. Like I said, it's not very stiff, but it's just stiff enough that you can get a nice little lift for those little details you need. So I use this a lot for that. You're going to notice a lot of Princeton brushes here, by the way. This is a Princeton stroke brush. This is very good for getting some water down. Nice one inch brush. I do use this quite a bit. And here is a dagger. It's fake squirrel. I really enjoy this a lot. Very nice brush. And here is a Robert Simmons. This is just like a filbert brush. But it's a little stiffer, so you can lift with it, but you can get some really nice, uh, not really details, but some nice texture effects if you're doing water. So that's what I use that for. So the first group of brushes I want to talk about are these... Princeton Selects. Now, the majority of these I have received in art subscription boxes. A couple of them I have bought myself. And these are mid-range brushes, price-wise. This mop here costs $12. Um, the number four in here I did purchase. This was about $6. But if you're on a budget and you can't invest a lot of money in brushes, these are good because you can use them for more than watercolor. They're good for gouache. They're good for acrylic. So they're a nice, solid, mixed media brush. I get more use out of the rounds. And I still use these today for watercolor. They're decent. They're very, they're a solid brush. So yeah, I would suggest these if you're on a budget and can't invest lots of money in a brush and you need to use it for more things. I think they're great. Next grouping, more Princetons. These are the Princeton Heritage. These are synthetic haired brushes. The number six round is the one I get the most used out of, and it is around $9. I think these are just a little better than the Princeton Selects. I get these in art subscription boxes also. But these two, I would say, are worth the money. I would assume you can use these for more than watercolor also. But yeah, this is a very nice brush and probably one that I've used the most, at least starting off right away. Very good, solid brush. Now we're stepping up the old Princeton price ladder here. These are the Princeton Aqua Elites. I know online you can get a set of four, and I believe both of these brushes are included in that set of four. I've seen a cost of $46 on Amazon. I'm going to guess that's about what they are. I'm not real sure. I did buy this cat's tongue one for $15. So I would just assume this, this one here would be around $10. These have a, a soft, one of those soft touch handles. Very nice to grip. Feel really nice in the hand. They're a little more weighted, a little sturdy. These are synthetic sable hair brushes. 
These are pretty good. I've had a better time with this cat's tongue one to get some nice little details and work. I don't think you necessarily need the uh, round ones. If you're going to spend some money on a round, get maybe just the Princeton Select. It, it, it works just as fine as this one. I would uh, imagine this one costs more than the Princeton Select. This one's okay. Uh, do you need it? No, you really don't. Is it fun to have? Yes. Do I use it? Yes. But I don't think it's something you need to run out and purchase, and you don't absolutely need this to make good watercolor art. Now let's get into some of the fancier brushes. I purchased these off of Amazon, and I don't know why I didn't write down how much I spent. I'll flip it somewhere if I can. I will try to link as much as I can down below for you in case you want to buy any of these, or at least a website where you can find them. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this, what, Fumi? You got, you got a decent set for the price, I thought. They're supposed to be real squirrel hair. You did receive six brushes. They're nice. I'm not sure if I would purchase them again. Yeah, they're a nice set of brushes. I can't deny that. They're real squirrel hair. They do hold a lot of water. They're decent. You get nice. You get a nice variety of these round. I would have liked to seen some other kinds of brushes in the pack, but they're all right. I would say they're a mid-range quality brush. Am I mad I have them? No. Do I use them a lot anymore? No. I actually would reach for a Princeton over this and some of my other ones that I'm going to talk about next. They're okay. I don't think you have to run out and get them, but if, if you think this is a nice set of six and you just want to buy one set of squirrel hair brushes, they're okay. Okay, so let's just get these out of the way. These are the Silver Black Velvet Watercolor Brushes. They are a unique blend of squirrel hair, natural squirrel hair, and synthetic fibers. The set of three right here, $66, right? $66 for three brushes. Now, a lot of popular YouTube creators that do watercolor swear by these. They love them. They're fantastic, I heard. Let's discuss a little bit. In that set, you got the three quarters oval brush. You got the number eight round. And you got the, the script or a rigger, whatever you want to call them. They're nice. When I bought these, in my mind, I thought they were going to change the way I watercolored. With this price, they should paint themselves, right? Well, they don't. I don't think these are very special. I really don't. I don't think they're worth $66. I didn't see what the big fuss was. Am I a professional watercolor artist? No, I am not. So that might make a difference. But yeah, I mean, they're okay. If I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have purchased this set for $66. Now, I did somehow. I don't know how I got this one. So I've got two script brushes. I don't think this is so bad to own. This is a very nice liner brush. So if you're going to buy any of these, maybe just get the liner. It. I have used the other one a few times. But yeah, I... My advice is don't invest the money in these. I didn't think they were the best thing on earth. I just didn't. Um... I'll reach for them here and there, but I, I can't say that I'm going to use these over the other Princetons. Probably not. So, yeah, kind of a letdown. A little bit of a bummer. So the next couple brushes are ones I do highly recommend. I got this off of Amazon. These are squirrel hair paint brushes. This, this set right here was $29. Comes in a very nice box. Came like this. Real squirrel hair, up $10 a brush. We got a zero, a two, and a four. Fantastic. If you want to spend a little extra money on some really good brushes, ding, 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 these are all winners. Will this change your watercolor game? They might. They certainly might. I love them. Now, I'm not going to tell somebody to run out and spend money on anything. Do you need any of this? Probably not. You can probably do a really nice piece of art work with watercolor with a $1 brush, right? It's your skill level. I get that. But these certainly, certainly 
up to my game. I love these. Now, I don't know if they're going to last forever. I don't know what kind of quality this name has. No idea, but I know I am enjoying them at this point in time. I love them. Yes, if you wanted to invest in some brushes just to check out, these are good. I, I, I just think they're really good. I think they're a decent price, too. So, yeah. You want to have some fun with watercolor, check these out. I think they're fantastic. Now it's time to talk about the king of all kings in my watercolor br brush collection. And it is the Princeton Neptune. It is the quill style brush. These are also, it seems to be a popular style for my techniques. This is the number four, which uh, I forget how much I paid for at the time, but I looked it up online. This is about $18 for this. I seen the number eight quill was 30. So they are pricey. Is this brush worth it? Yes, I think this brush is worth $20. This is fantastic. Just the best watercolor brush I own. Of course, now I've had this one longer than these ones here, but I have used this brush more than any of them in my collection. You can lay down water. You can do nice washes. It actually comes to a pretty decent little point here. You can do other things with it. You can get a lot of things done with this brush. For $20, I would say yes. Do you have to run out and get it? You know, that's, like I said, I don't tell people to run out and get spend money. But between these two, I would say these are worth your money at least. I have used this a lot. I use it in just about every watercolor picture I do. This and this one right here, I reach for a lot. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be reaching for this now that I have these guys down here. But we'll see. But yeah, out of everything, I have used these two brushes the most. I get the most enjoyment out of these two brushes. This one in particularly, this does almost paint the picture itself. Don't invest money in this. Invest your money in this and these. All right, folks, so what did we learn? We learned that we really don't have to spend a lot of money for a decent brush. If you're going to spend some money and you don't you don't have a large budget, get, get some brushes that are going to be an all-around all brush. Use it for everything. It'll work. You'll get... you'll. You can do a nice piece with any brush, I think. Don't spend your money on these. Um, in my experience, I love these quill brushes. I do think they're worth the money if you want to invest in them. I'm going to say yes. Go ahead and do so if you need tucked into purchasing anything. Yeah, but there's a lot of medium-priced brushes that are really nice. You do not have to go out and spend $100 on a couple of really fancy brushes. Chances are you're probably not going to be that impressed. You may be impressed by these, though. Just saying. Well, I hope this video helps somebody out picking out some watercolor brushes. If you've been struggling, perhaps you just can't get some techniques down. Maybe it's time you changed up your brush game. I did, and I, I enjoyed it. Now, I spent some money along the way. I didn't have to, but hey. That's why I'm telling you what might be worth it. I will see you in my next video, folks. Let me know down below if you have any of these brushes and what you think, and I'll talk to you later.